G'day Bomber Fiends, it is confirmed, you all know by now, our third player has walked through the doors this free agency period, Jade Gresham makes it 3 from 3, we picked him up yesterday, I was unfortunately too busy to make a video then, so I'm releasing this a day late, but I'll go over the deal, what it means for us, what his contract looks like, how he fits into our team, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so Gresham has joined Essendon, there was a lot of talk about whether or not this would get over the line, because St Kilda wanted first round compensation and were prepared to match an offer and force a trade, if they didn't get it, a trade which we would not have gotten done so really it was free agency or bust and luckily this CBA free agency debacle got it over the line for us we picked a good year to play the market uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about the players are getting paid 10% more in 2024 than they did in 2023 but free agency compensation doesn't take that into account so players are uh, in compensation brackets that they shouldn't uh, probably shouldn't be in it's why Mackay was picked 3 Duday picked 19 and Gresham has now been given or has now given St Kilda pick 21 a late first rounder they are content with that, so Gresham is a bomber. So his contract is three years, a bit shorter than Mackay's, which is fair. He is almost less proven in a way. Uh, the talent is undeniable, but he hasn't really put it all together, which I will get to later, but three years. Uh, now, this is where people will get a bit mad. It is reported to be worth approximately $700,000 a year, which will make him probably one of our highest earners at the club, top 10 at least. Um, now, without CBA, that would be what, like, what, two, uh, 620, 30,000, something like that. Could have done the maths before, but that would be uh, way too professional of me. So it's a big difference, and it's a big difference from his reported St. Kilda contract. So he's apparently earning less, I hear, but still 700,000. I, I got to say, I'm not thrilled. I'm I'm happy we get Gresham because he's, he's 26, good age, really talented. Uh, if he has a good full year, it will certainly improve the club, but it's a lot of money for a player that is a risk, and it's a risk because he's only receiving a, a three-year contract. A 26-year-old on that contract, it shows we aren't 100% sure he is a part of our future. Otherwise, we would lock him in till he's 30 or 31. But let's talk about Gresham and what he brings to the club. So Gresham taken at pick 18 in his draft year. Small crafty forward. He has often been played in weird roles at St Kilda. I think we're going to play him 90% forward, I'd say. He has varied a bit over there as they tried to get the best out of him. The best of Gresham I see is him on a half forward line. At his best, he is a high half forward that can kick 25 to 30 goals in a season while averaging over 15 disposals a game. In fact, weird stat, he is one of five players in the AFL to average 18, dispos 18 or more disposals and a goal a game up there with Dustin Martin over the whole career. Um, a pointless stat, but it shows the type of player Gresham is. He's going to be involved in our scoring. He will be in and around the goals. He is a really clever player when up and about. He is quick, evasive. He is pretty much going to play that Will Snelling link-up role, I would say, but more effectively. So it's it's definitely an improvement on what we have. Is it necessary? Not really, but it makes us a better team. There are areas we needed fixing more, but I think the difference between having Gresham uh, and someone like Guelphy or Snelling will be pretty big. It spells danger for Snelling who is out of contract, I would be surprised if he remains with us next year. He can apply pressure, not as well as Guelphy uh, or Menzi or Davey, but he isn't just a one-way player. And now I should say he is really inconsistent. Some will say it's because of the environment and his role at St Kilda. Time will tell with that, but if you say he's a proven player, you're being very optimistic. I'm not 100% certain on the move. I think no one is really, but I think there's going to be uh, some really frustrating games next year where we forget he's playing. But there'll be some where he repays the faith and puts on a show every now and then as well. Is he worth saying? 700,000 a year? Probably not, almost definitely not, but if he can be at his best for, let's say, 60% of the season, we get a player. That's what I think. Gresham is another player who has struggled with injuries over the years. We seem to love these players. Dodoro must have the medical sheet upside down or something. We brought in Mackay, all our draftees, and now Gresham. Now, it's less of an issue, though. I would say, really, the injuries make his stats and career look worse, um, but he was really starting to cook before he was sidelined regularly. He played just about every game in 2023, though. Uh, the few seasons before that 18 games is fine but then you got three and 11 before that so we have to hope we see more full seasons but I can see why Dodoro picked this player Brad Scott likes these role players in his teams he likes a system but really backs in players to play the way they want to I think all in all if I had to approve or reject this as a fan I think losing no draft capital to get Gresham it's decent business but yeah we had to overpay him but our salary cap is so big we are Clearly trying to win games more in 2024, which is exciting. Um, I think it's a, a, a decent deal. Being patient for the future is all well and good, but wins are better. That's all though. Quick little video. Let me know down below what you guys think. Are you happy? Are you not as happy? It's definitely more of a controversial trade than the Mackay and Goldstein one. So let me know what you think down below. But that is all. Cheers for watching. Subscribe to stay up to date with all trade and draft news for Essendon and Go Bombers.